working on building a light bracket for the Jeep. Got to hold this 52 inch light bar. The ones that came from the factory with that light bar are just little tiny bitty things they need to mount up here on the top. It's so close and the light can be hit the top of the truck. I don't like it. So I am using some cardboard to make a template right here. This will fit in here. And uh, that bracket will hold the light later. The template for this light bar bracket is almost done. I need to pull off this uh, trim around the windshield, you know, pull out a couple screws and it needs to be cut out so that your bracket can mount inside there where you want it to be mounted. Now this thing is ready to cut out a rough metal bracket. I'll need to cut out two of them, one for each side and then uh, then I'll take off the other side trim piece here and cut it to make that fit. Looking good so far. Now I need to trace this template out onto, well this is some 8 inch aluminum. That's what I'm going to build my brackets out of. One here, and if another one will fit, put it there, but I doubt it. But I'll move it down here somewhere. Utilize the material I got. Now I got these two brackets outlined onto this piece of metal. I can cut them out and uh, they're just a rough cut for now. And I can test fit and do the slight modifications that might need to be done from there. Got the two brackets cut out roughly. There they are. Now test fit up here just so I can know what's going on wow looks pretty good a um, little bit of filing which will happen when both of them get put together okay, that one fits the best so anyway when I put these two together and then clean up all the edges file them all down and it will fit good. I think the height on here is good enough to keep that light off the cab of the truck. Be good to go. Use a permanent marker and mark little dots on here where I want the bolts to go. Uh, then I can use these two holes and bolt these two pieces together. And then I will be able to match them up, make them perfectly identical. Use the drill press, put these two pieces together and drilled out the holes so they line up perfectly. Put a couple screws in there to hold it so that I can clean up all the edges, make them all fit perfectly. This is starting to take some shape. Can't wait to get it done. Um, show you and use the machine at the same time so I just show you you know before look very rough but after look that's very good I still got to keep going but just wanted to show you how I'm doing it okay most of this is done 99% of it's done all lined up and level one place I could not do is where it's got the straight cut I will need to do this with a hand file and everything else I will finish up with the hand file to make it prettier and round the edges off so it's not so sharp. All right, got these brackets all filed down. No more sharp edges on here. They're all smooth and fairly polished on the edges. All the same size. Now I can go ahead and mount these on the Jeep and do a mock-up install of the light so that I can see where I need to bend these brackets. Light bar bracket sitting up here. Really, really nice 
that's a fit. I can mount it on here, mount the one on the other side, and I can try to set the light bar up in here to see which angle I need to bend this at. Looks good. Now I just need to clean all this nastiness out from here. And uh, then I can get to work. The garden hose and a toothbrush. Looks real good now. Now I need to mount it. Anyway, test fitting right here. This is what it will look like in place. Nice, good fit in here. All right, light bar is stuck on there. You can see it's a good distance behind the windshield so you don't get any glare when it's on at night. Looks pretty good, I think. It's all straight, square. Nice. Now, time to paint these brackets. Gonna be nice and yellow. Haven't painted all of it yet, but gonna be yellow. So it'll match the other parts that I'm gonna paint yellow later. Got these things all painted up. Once they dry out, then I can mount that bar on the Jeep more permanently and route all the wiring. Getting close to being done. Light bar is all mounted. Uh, now I just need to figure out where to route the wires. Got to plan that. I think I'll put it behind this trim down through here to get into the engine bay. But I think they look good with the yellow on there. Never seen yellow ones before. Just a test of the lights. Plugged them in, turned them on. I know you can't see here, but they're pretty bright. Can't look directly into it. Gotta connect the power to this light bar. So I have ran the wire behind this and, and in front of this. So between the glass and this plastic trim, down through here, it's gonna come under this piece into the wiper motor assembly housing. Drill the hole through here so that the main wires can go in and connect. Connecting each wire with some heat shrink tubing. Keep water out, keep the connection alive. I've got the hot wire, which is the red wire, separately insulated away from the ground, which I'm using this yellow one to insulate both of them together but the ground is only insulated by the yellow one. All right, wires are all connected. I got the wires all tucked up out of view. You'll never know they are there, except for right here where it comes out to feed the light bar. Now I just gotta figure out what to do with the rest of these wires. The relay that powers the lights uh, needs to be mounted somewhere. You know, reasonable place I could find to mount it is right here but the hole is not big enough so I made the hole bigger so I can mount this right here to keep this looking as close to stock as I can hiding all the wires so not really noticeable only thing noticeable right now is this piece of the harness that goes to the spotlights that I don't know where I'm gonna put yet so for now they're sitting down here but uh, power wire is connected in the main fuse block for the truck. Uh, underneath here, I lifted up this and fastened it under here and all the wire run down underneath. Here's the fuse for it. And the ground is run back under the uh, relay here. Not easy to see where it's going now. All I got left to connect, well it is connected, but all I got left to route is the switch to turn these on. I need to put these in, put this in the cab somewhere. I just haven't decided where to put it yet, but it does work. There it is. 
Here I am routing this wire through one of the factory grommets in the firewall. It's not easy to see, but right there, that big one, that's where it's going through. And use a metal coat hanger to get in there through that rubber. see see here I got the wire stuck through that hanger and the wire coming through right there around that blue ring that's where it's coming through the firewall then it'll be routed up under here and mounted right here nice factory fit location awesome all right harness is fed through that little rubber grommet down there inside the cab here's the other end just need to route it up underneath there and right out to here and it'll be uh, ready to connect the wiring harness is run under here with the factory harness and you can see where i got it zip tied yellow easy to see right there now it's just gonna run back through here then i can hook up my switch yay then i'll be done for now i just got the wire coming out of here just sitting here the switch is there it's plugged in but i don't want to take this all out to finish this when the sky I don't want to finish this while the sky looks like that these tornadoes are coming this way now if the sky looked like that nice pretty blue that'd be okay here we are parked in front of the house with the lights on turn them off big difference